Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. <clears throat> I'm down here in Alpine, Texas, and uh, fixing to go into the Museum of the Big Bend. It's in. Uh, I'm up here on the campus of Sol Ross University, small university, about I think about 2,000 students. Beautiful campus. Take a little look around here. I think that's the administration building. Could be wrong. Who the geese would be wrong? This building over here is a student union building. And uh, I'm going to go in there later on after 11. Uh, they open their cafeteria to the public for lunch, and it's. Uh, it's a buffet. I don't know if it still is, but it was eight dollars, and they have a great salad bar there. Yeah, Vic and Mary Jane Morgan University Center. Yeah, it's fun sitting there with all those kids. I don't know if uh, I guess I guess school hadn't started yet. I don't know. I don't see. Uh, I'm pretty sure it hasn't. I'll find out here in a minute when I go in the museum. You go in this end entrance down here. So I'm going to pause this and get inside. And I've been in there many times before. It's really, if you're in Alpine, you want to check it out. It's a great, great museum. So uh, I just saw a guy go up to the door and turn around and leave, though. I hope they're open. If not, this will just be a little campus tour, I guess. So, let's see. What's this? A horse. Looking right into the sun. Donde esta? Where is he? The officer has hobbled his horse, drawn his rifle, scabbard, and gone forward to do his duty. The horse watches him go, not knowing that he will ever return. It's a, this is a memorial honoring the local, state, and federal officers of the Big Bend area, law enforcement officers. Pretty cool. Here's the ones that have... Uh, Ended their watch. Yeah, lost quite a few of them. And there's the horse waiting for his rider to come back. Yeah, they got a wonderful library up here too that's open to the public. And I like to go in there. They got a, it's all glassed in. You can look out over the whole town. Pretty nice. Is it open? Is that the entrance to the museum? No, over here. Oh, right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. It should it should be open. Yeah, okay. I'm waiting. There, there you come now. Oh, okay. All right, guys. I'm going to pause it, and then let me show you this. Uh, here's the admission. $5. Adults. Children under 12 free. So... I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we got inside, and I'll, uh, I won't spend too much. It's a big place. There's a black bear of the Big Bend, a real one. And this is really cool. They got this topographic map. Look how big it is of the whole Big Bend area out here. And it's got, on each side, it's got these, uh, these, uh, Every, all of it is marked and you push one of these buttons and the little light, see that little light right there light, lighting up, see that little light that's Lajitas that shows you where Lajitas is down on the river or if you want to light up Balmeray see see it over there I used to <laughs> I love, this is my favorite part right here of the whole museum I think We'll just walk around. 
five bucks to get in. She says there's a new part in the back that I haven't seen yet, so. La Junta de los Rios. That's where the Rio Grande and the, uh, oh, what's the name of the other one? It's down uh, south of Presidio. Two rivers merge. One comes out of Mexico. <clears throat> the Chihuahua Trail. Here's the old type of wagon they had. Can you imagine the ride with that? That's, that'd be some slow going with those wood wheels. I mean, this place is amazing. I know this video won't even do it justice because I'm going to run through it so fast. You spend hours in here, guys, and, and not see everything. Cabeza de Vaca, the old Spanish explorers. How would you like to wear that around? This is a replica here. That's adobe. These are adobe bricks. See a lot of this out here. Yeah. A pacheria. This is like a little trading post type of place. Pretty authentic stuff. Let's see what we got here. We're going back in this canyon. Be careful, geezer. Big Bend National Park. That's Santa Elena Canyon right there. Beautiful place. Yeah, oh, this is a replica of Santa Elena Canyon where you're going down the river. Just showing you Big Ben Park. Like I say, we're gonna run through this pretty darn fast, so hang on. Branding irons. Branding the cattle. The big old ranches out here, the 06. Which is the Started out as the Coconut Ranch. I have my 06 cap on right now, as a matter of fact. The Keros and Cowboys. Chuck Wagons. Here's a replica of a Chuck Wagon. Most important guy on the trail ride was the uh, trail drive was the cook. <laughs> Had to keep those boys happy. Five bucks, guys, to get in here. Kids under 12 are free. Here's an old general store right here. Look at this. They got the post office there. It, how about that? There's an old scale. Cool, huh? How long have we been going? Eight minutes. Railroad. When the railroad came to Alpine, I think 1880, late 18, around 1880s. That's what put it on the map. Southern Pacific lines. There you go, Jamie. Let's walk in this railroad car. I guess this is what this is supposed to be. No. Wrong again, geezer. Here's some old car carbines. Some of the old weapons they had. Sort of dark back in here. Oh, here's Fort, uh, here's Fort Davis. There's Fort Davis. Eighteen seventy-four is the uh, 
they're depicting, as Jet Sign said, the uniform and everything, the, uh, the Buffalo soldiers that were up here. There he is. Old stagecoach. And they, uh, they did an experiment with camels that didn't work real well. Yeah, there they are going across the river. This place is enormous. And downstairs, they have this. We won't go down there this time. I may have to break this up into a couple of videos. Historical map exhibit. They got all sorts of maps down there. Here's Sol Ross. This is pretty cool. There's the first building that was built at Sol Ross. Look how barren everything was out here. All the trees, yeah, there was no trees or anything out here in those days. Everything's been been planted by uh, man, you know, by man. Here's some of the old, Dan Blocker went to, remember Dan Blocker from Bonanza, Hoss? He went to Sol Ross. He played football out here. There's his old boots and his hat. There's an old Sol Ross leather jacket. I don't know if that picture there is with him. There's a full helmet, all sorts of patches, volleyball, tumbling, tennis, an old yearbook, Sol Ross Lobos. Let's see here. She said the new part was through some doors. This is the map area. We, we'll walk around this way. Here's some of the lifetime members and big donors, I guess. Big old, this is a picture of the river. It takes up a full wall, it's beautiful. This was a, that green cafe sign, that was a cafe that was over on Murphy Street. It's an old cafe in Alpine. I didn't see the new part. Let's see. Did I show you? Oh, look at these old army swords and bayonets. An old bridle. Nineteen sixteen Mexican border service. My dad grew up in Douglas, Arizona, and uh I think I told you all that before in that time period right there, Pancho Villa. And uh, he, 19, his mother had a boarding house there on the, right on the border. She uh, was raising him and his sister uh, by herself. The old man ran off, I guess my grandfather who, don't have to a whole lot of use for that guy. Said he was a horse thief. Maybe that's how Geezer got some of his uh, <coughs> wildness when he was young, huh? Yeah, here, disorder border. Yeah, this is real interesting here with all this. They made a movie down there uh, later on, uh, Pancho Villa, and they, they were actually in a movie down there while that was all going on. There's some... Pictures of actual battles. And my uncle was on this uh, Pershing expedition going in trying to catch Pancho Villa. 
and uh, which failed. They uh, couldn't catch him. He later got assassinated down in Mexico. Yeah, here's Pershing. So my uncle might be in that picture right there. Then later on, he went over to Europe in World War I. He was the one that later became a chiropractor, but that's, that's a whole different story. Really cool. I'm really interested in this type of stuff because of the stories that my dad told me. I wish I would have listened a little closer, just like everybody else does, you know? You don't listen to the old guys till, and when they're gone, uh, you wish you had. So that's just the way it is. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, if you're ever in Alpine, Texas, make sure you take in the Museum of the Big Ben. Uh, Jason's Texas Adventures is coming out here next week, and he said he's going to do a video here. So check, check him out when he does his video. That's Jason's Texas Adventures. He does really fine videos, so. Uh, and he said he's coming here, I think, the end of next week. They're coming out for the Marfa Lights Festival. So, uh, all right, from, uh, from the Museum of the Big Bend on the campus of Sol Ross University, this will be the old geezer saying, peace out, stay blessed, See what we got right here. End it with a. I don't know who that dude is. Stay blessed. Stay positive. And uh, just have a great day. I'm going to go over here and eat. When they open the cafeteria up, I'm going to go eat with those kids. Be talking to you later, guys. Adios. Bye-bye.